there are no new cases in Queensland in the last 24 hours. So the pain this community has been suffering, the work we've been doing, uh, the discipline there's been in this community uh, and many other communities across Queensland mean that it's paying off. So this is the first time in 80 days that there has been no new reports. As you all know, uh, school resumed this morning, term two, uh, in a format uh, never before seen by any of us. We know that there have been a few teething problems this morning. Um, I'm well um, briefed that across the state, everybody has turned their hand to resolving those issues as quickly as we can um, and ensuring that uh, we settle into what will be five weeks of um, this model of, of learning from home. I, I guess generally across the Darling Downs district, it, we've seen a reduction in crime um, across the board. Uh, there's, there's obviously a, a number of reasons for that, but, but obviously a, a big part of it is, is that uh, people are, are home more often. There's also a lot less people getting around of a, of a night time. We've certainly seen a reduction in break and enter offences and, and also other offences across the board generally. Um, so in the Darling Downs district, that last count which was just this morning, there was about 24 notices issued uh, going back since, uh, I think since the, the 7th or the 4th when, when those come into effect. Um, about, uh, well, uh, 10 of those have been uh, issued in the in the Toowoomba area. Because the uh, the offences around people associating together is that, that the, when there's an incident there's, there's often more than one ticket issued at a time. So when you're talking about 10 in Toowoomba over the last couple of weekends, really Easter weekend and the last weekend, um, you know, the, certainly the community's been very compliant and, and um, there's, there's a lot of goodwill and I think people are, are um, really going out of their way to to not spread the virus and to try and abide by the guidance that's been put in place. As we move towards Anzac Day, which to me and to many Australians is one of the most important days uh, on the calendar, when we remember those who sacrifice for the freedoms that we enjoy, I think it's important that we do, in our own way, stand shoulder to shoulder, not in the way we normally do, but make sure we remember those who've given us work so hard to give us the freedoms that we, in fact, enjoy and I guess sometimes we take for granted. The spirit that's coming out in respect to the response to the coronavirus pandemic I think is so typical of the spirit that got us through those difficult years all those years ago.